to say a few words. Thank you so much for this honor, and thank you, Lucy Kaplansky, for the amazing music, and Sophie B. Hawkins. Thank you, Antigone Rising, for your incredible advocacy and in music. Um, so I just want to, I've prepared a few words, and um, we're here today because we love music. We're here today because we support women and girls becoming a force. And if there are some here in the room who want to take your talent, your expression in music all the way, if you really want it, you can become a force in the world for good through music by becoming an artist. And when we make that commitment to leap, it is a devotion to truth-telling. It is a way to self-heal through your music. It is a way to heal others through your music. I've discovered after 30 some odd years in music and writing songs and touring the world and meeting countless people that music helps people. It helps them find their feelings. It helps them heal their feelings. Music has the tiniest fingers reaching inside people's hearts, changing them. You must be dedicated to the music spiritually. It is an everyday practice. The legendary artist Pablo Picasso said, artists are the politicians of the future, and I believe that to be true. I believe that in being a public singer-songwriter, it ultimately is far greater to not write just about your own personal drama, like, ooh, my boyfriend broke up with me, I tell this to my 20-year-old songwriting students. It is far greater to include in your writing process the caring for humankind. Is it any coincidence that lasting musical greats wrote for social justice and they are not flash in the pans? Is it any coincidence that artists like Bob Marley, Nina Simone, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Billie Holiday, Woody Guthrie, Joni Mitchell, Sinead O'Connor, Peter Gabriel, N.W.A., Loretta Lynn, Kendrick Lamar, Janelle Monet, Bob Dylan, Tracy Chapman, etc., etc., are lasting greats and they wrote and they sang for social justice. We are here today because we care about social justice. We care about equality and empowerment for girls and women. We wish to further the journey and the progress made by women. Women such as Susan B. Anthony, Lucy Stone, Harriet Tubman, Amelia Earhart, Bessie Smith, Helen Keller, Marie Curie, Frida Kahlo, Nina Simone, Hillary Clinton, Gloria Steinem, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Oprah, Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, Tina Turner, Angela Davis, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Janelle Monet, Malala. We especially, especially wish to further the journey and the progress made by women who never were acknowledged, who never had a voice like my great-grandmother, Charlotte, a gifted pianist for whom I dedicate my next album. She did not have a voice in this world, but you have a voice. You are the future. You are the politicians of the future. You are artists of the future. Do not be silent. Speak your truth. Support other women and girls. Be the best human being you can be every day and you will become the best artist you can be and you will make a difference. Thank you. <laughs>